Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I figured I would vlog today. I have the day off work, but I have a lot of stuff to get done. So it's gonna be a little productive day in the life. So for breakfast, switching it up, I know, who am I? I'm having some cinnamon oatmeal with banana in it. I literally just cook it all on the stove top. So I put the oats in, um, add some water, and then while it's cooking, I stir it and I add collagen, cinnamon, a little bit of maple syrup, and that's about it. Then I added some bananas on top and then I'm having my coffee with more collagen peptides and almond milk. So I'm gonna eat this, do some work on my computer and yeah, welcome to the video. <laughs> I posted a little question box on my story and told you guys to ask me questions that I would feature in this video. And someone asked, when was Cameron gonna be in a video? And here he is, we're walking to the post office. It's around like 10 a.m. I was tired of sitting and working on my computer. So I figured I would take a little break and walk to the post office because I think I've had packages waiting for me there for weeks now. So hopefully they're still there and he's gonna carry them for me. And yes, still in the booth. I go back on Friday. Secured the goods. I got my new box of collagen, Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. I just get the normal unflavored kind. I personally don't like the flavored ones at all. Two things of JoJo's Chocolate. I've talked about this before. I have a discount code with them. I'll put it right here. I personally really like the original and the coconut, I think, are my two favorite. I got this surprise package. It says from WVU Gymnastics. I don't know what it is. Some sort of plaque and a very nice note from Travis. I'm struggling. Hmm. Oh. oh, I forgot. I won this like academic award. Cool. Fun fact, all my plaques and anything I've ever gotten in my life stays wrapped up in its box in my little gymnastics bin at home. This was actually a really cool award. Very proud of myself for this one. It was the Gerald Lage Lodge Academic Achievement Award. It's like the highest academic award given in the Big 12. So, student athlete. Back to computer work I go. Gotta protect the eyes. Okay, it is now almost one o'clock. It is 12.46. I have been working on my new client's program because it is so freaking fun to make. But I have been working on her program all morning. I worked on my ebook a tiny bit, put in some more of the photos that I got back from my photographer. Still waiting on a few more, but I told him to take his time because there are literally 659 of them. I need to work out, but it's absolutely freezing. I can't go to F45 today because it's a cardio day and I'm still in this boot, but it's so cold in my room. I literally have no motivation to work out, but like once I get warm, then I'm good to go. So I'm doing day eight of fitness. It is actually a lower body like strength day. So I'm gonna have to modify a bunch of those exercises but we're gonna get it done. So let's get into this little workout.
And we are back, nice and clean and cozy. Yes, I am in the exact same sweatshirt I was wearing earlier, but it never got dirty. I took it off before my workout, so it is still clean. So, now I'm gonna eat some lunch because I'm starving, and I think I'm gonna make like a breakfast brunch for lunch. Cause you know, I love my egg sandwich. I didn't have it this morning. So I think I'm gonna do an egg sandwich with some air fried potatoes, peppers and onions. It's gonna be delicious. Let's go. Lunch is served. I'm realizing I really should have made two slices of bread because this one's really small, but it's two egg whites and an egg on Dave's color bread, a ton of air fried potatoes, peppers, onions, and I'm of course gonna put Cholula hot sauce on top. And I did wanna mention that my workout was only 35 minutes. I did the day nine of fitness followed by 10 minutes of the ab workout I actually posted on Instagram this morning. And that was like very sufficient, good to go. So you don't need a ton of time to get a great workout in. Just thought I'd mention that. I'm gonna go eat this and do some more computer work. I know that's boring, so I'm not gonna show you guys again, but I will check back in with you guys when I do something a little bit more exciting. <laughs> okay, welcome back to my bedroom floor. I feel like I'm always in here. I need to finish wrapping Cameron's Christmas presents. They're all in here of his stocking full of stuff. And then in this box, there is another box with another wrapped present. So there are two presents in here. And then like two presents in here. And then I have one more that I'm hoping I can fit in this same box and wrap up. I can't show you because I don't want Cameron to watch even though I don't think he watches my videos. Let me just secretly stuff this. Okay, we're good. It fits. Now it is time to wrap. I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I don't have any packing tape. That's not gonna do anything. Tell me I'm not the only person who, when it comes to Christmas, they just like end up spending hundreds of dollars on everyone in their family, but like, I love it. I love buying everyone in my family presents and like surprising them. I always think of some amazing gift and I'm like, you know what? They would really love that. They deserve that. Let me just bite the bullet and get it for them. And I just love everyone's reactions when they open presents. Like it's honestly the best thing in the world. <gasps> I'm almost out of tape. <laughs> Let's hope that that stays. I have more tape, don't worry. <laughs> I feel like everyone has different wrapping techniques. I feel like this is a really tall box. Okay, now we are cooking. I love when it effortlessly glides across. Let's see if I can do it. I used to think my mom was a superhero for being able to do that. Sorry, I'm really focusing. Here. I think I messed up. This is not how I normally wrap. Oh well, we're just gonna roll with it. But yeah, so it may not look like I have done much today, but I actually edited, exported, and scheduled Friday's YouTube video. I have been working on my ebook as I talked about, just waiting on getting a few more photos back. Um, I've been working on my new client's program, trying to get to her by this weekend so she gets started on Monday. I made a bingo card for our F45 members in case we do go back into a lockdown. I really hope we don't, but in case we do, we're trying to be proactive. Now I'm taking a little break from the computer and wrapping presents. That looks really bad, but oh well. One of the other questions that I got on Instagram today was, now that I've been in Pittsburgh for six months, what is my favorite part about the city? And my answer would definitely have to be the F45 studio and the people. Like, 
I haven't really gotten to experience that much just since so much stuff is shut down and has been. But I am obsessed with my F45 team and all of our members, like they are literally the best. Another question that I got was what is my favorite part of Christmas? I feel like this is very fitting and it would definitely be like surprising people with presents that they would have never expected, but like definitely need and love. And I got my mom the best gift ever this year. I cannot wait for her to open it. I feel like she's gonna be so surprised and happy. It's from all of us. It's from me, Cameron, my brother Derek, and his girlfriend, Catherine because she just does so much for us and she's the nicest woman in the world. And I know she's watching this video because every Monday and Friday, she turns on her Apple TV downstairs and watches me on TV when I put these new videos up. So, love you, mom. Can't wait to surprise you with a Christmas present. Another question that I got on my Instagram was, what was the biggest challenge transitioning from being a collegiate athlete to living a normal life? So that transition was kind of forced on me with COVID and quarantine happening. Literally canceled my season, the last three weeks of our season. I didn't get to finish my senior year, didn't have my senior night. Was sent home from school and I immediately just poured all my energy and focus into health and fitness and personal training. I think I literally got my first online client within a week of being home. So jumping into that definitely helped my transition go a lot smoother than I feel like a lot of other people's transitions were. It was definitely hard, definitely sad. I definitely did not want to be done with gymnastics at all, but having another passion definitely helped make that go smoothly. The biggest challenge would be, I don't know. I feel like lessons I learned through gymnastics and being a competitive athlete prepared me for life like so well. Like, and the biggest transition was just dealing with the fact that gymnastics was over before it was supposed to be over. <laughs> but my Santa Claus duties are done and now I have to get back to work. I'll probably see you whenever I'm cooking dinner. Well, I'm extremely pale. Um, it is much later. It is almost seven o'clock. It's 6.39 and I am about to make some dinner. The guys are at F45 taking the cardio class, so I'm super jealous, but that means I get the kitchen to myself to cook some dinner. I took out chicken to thaw. I feel like I'm always eating either shrimp or salmon whenever I like show you guys what I'm eating. So I took out some chicken. Don't really know what I'm gonna make because I don't really have any groceries. So we're gonna see. It's probably gonna be some sort of either rice or pasta with veggies and chicken. Let's make some food because I'm starving. I. I've been working on the computer this entire time, shocker. But I have gotten so much stuff done. It probably looks really boring and looks like I'm not really not doing much, but I've been so productive, so just know that. But let's make some dinner. I can't do it. P.S. I got Giant Eagle chicken breast because I haven't gone to Costco since I broke my ankle because that's just a lot of walking because it's a huge store. And I completely regret it. Like Costco, Protein sources are just ideal. So I will never be shopping anywhere else. It's definitely like Costco or nowhere because this chicken just disappoints me. It's, it's really not bad, I'm just being dramatic. I'm very picky when it comes to my salmon and chicken and shrimp. I really need to go to the grocery store, let me just say that. I'm out of basically everything. I have one more bag of frozen broccoli and a little bit of peppers and onions, a shocker. I feel like those are the two veggies I always have. Don't have any more of my edamame. But I'm kind of feeling a pasta, veggie, chicken, you know, with a little bit of chicken broth, make it juicy. It'll be good, it'll be great. I actually did find some red lentil pasta, so I'm gonna have this with some broccoli, peppers and onions, and chicken, random, but I just like throwing everything in one bowl and eating it all together. This also will add a little bit of protein because I feel like I haven't had very much today. Don't really know because I don't keep track, but it'll help add a little bit of protein. This chicken breast is also super small, but whenever I am cooking with lentil pasta or chickpea pasta, anything like that, I do add a little bit of chicken broth once I mix it all together. It just helps kind of soften up the noodles because I feel like these noodles are always so hard, like no matter what, because they're not normal pasta, obviously. But just a little hack, add some chicken broth and it makes a world of difference. Well, this is embarrassing. I'm pretty sure it's all water, but just, just to be sure, I use my handy dandy tied to go pen. Fun fact, my teammates always made fun of me for having a time to go pen, but they were always the ones that needed it, so you guys are welcome. Okay, red lentil pasta, broccoli, peppers, onions, and some chicken. Like I said, I cooked it in a little bit of chicken broth once I threw it all together, and then I always do my veggies with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. 
and same thing with my chicken. I keep it super simple. A lot of people ask me how my veggies always look so fresh and the key is to buy frozen veggies because frozen veggies are actually just as nutritious as like fresh veggies, actually more nutritious because they're picked like right when they're ripe, picked, harvested right when they're ripe and then flash frozen so all those nutrients are held inside. I'll learn that in my nutrition courses and from our sports dietitian. So I just buy all frozen stuff and then when I'm ready to cook them, I throw them in a pan or I steam them in the microwave. So there's another hack for you. I'm pretty sure I've already shared that with you guys though. Wow, this is delicious. Anyway, sorry if my meals are boring or repetitive. I feel like I go through like phases. Like this summer I had like a salad phase and I'm so over salads because it's freezing outside. So now I just do like hot bowls and throw everything together in one bowl because it's best that way. So, bon appetit. That was not very attractive. I'm going to eat this and then probably work more on my computer. But if I do something more exciting, I'll let you guys know. Just got back from walking down the street to pick up some dinner for the guys. I felt like I had been sitting in this house forever so I walked with them. But we are gonna watch a Christmas movie and I think I'm gonna end this video off here. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, bye.